Spirit Commercient, and I will be walking through our Sync for Dynamics with you this morning. Uh, we're going to be looking specifically at the GP version uh, and our integration to that. However, we do integrate to most versions of Dynamics, including NAV, AX, Solomon, and others. Uh, if you have any questions as we go, please feel free to ask them through the Questions tab of the GoToWebinar control panel. Uh, the demo itself will take about 8-10 minutes, and once that wraps up, I will address the questions that are sitting in the list. Um, we will be following up with each and every one of you one-on-one uh, -on -one through phone or email after the meeting. So if you think of other questions too, um, or have questions about pricing, we can address those with you at that time. Uh, you should all be able to see my screen at this point. Uh, we're looking at the account screen inside of Salesforce. For those of you who are familiar with Salesforce, this should look pretty familiar. Um, You'll see a column called Commercial AR Customer Code. Uh, this is a piece that you probably are not used to seeing um, that pulls in the customer number from your Dynamics system and makes the link between it and the Salesforce account. So for customers who, I'm sorry, for accounts who are customers in Dynamics, this column will be filled out. For accounts who are not customers in Dynamics, who have just been created natively in Salesforce and are not linked over to anything else, this column will be blank. So it's a quick way to tell what's what. And if we want to take a look at an account, uh, again, you're going to see pretty standard Salesforce. Uh, our tool is a licensed managed package approved by Salesforce. And what that means is that we've worked with them to make sure that we're fully compatible with all the tools and features of Salesforce as well as hit all of their requirements for security and data validation. So you're going to see ev everything that you're going to see today is controlled through standard Salesforce tools and will look like standard Salesforce. I'll talk about some of those controls as we go. As we scroll down past the general header information on the account level, you'll see a series of related lists that are uh, uh, each linked to a table in the Dynamics database. So in this case, I've got my customer master, my address files, my customer summary, my customer period summary, my sales transactions history and the work files for those transactions, my invoice history and the work files for those invoices. Uh, each of these tables relates back, each of these lists relates back to a table inside of Dynamics. Um, all of these tables, all of these related lists are controlled through standard layout and security controls. So you can set how individual users or groups of users see the screens, which of these tables they see at this level and at each of the levels as we drill down in a moment, which columns of data they show. Every column from the database table is coming in. Um, so I've chosen sort of very standard columns uh, uh, on my screen. But if there's a column, a piece of data that you want to show on here that you don't see on my screen, you can get it on there. It's just as simple as editing the layout for the related list. Each of these lists and columns can also be uh, controlled through standard security tools. So if you give your users the ability to control their own layouts, but still want to be able to restrict who can see certain pieces of sensitive data, you can do that simply by restricting access to that data. As we take a look at one of these, um, a sales worker, for instance, uh, you'll see on screen we bring in a lot of information. Again, a whole database table. Um, I think that's about 400 fields in uh, this particular table. Most of these in this additional field section, I'd probably recommend my customers hide. There may be one or two pieces they're using that I don't have good data for that they would keep or want to keep. That's certainly up to each user. Um, but what you see on screen is, is a pretty standard uh, sales order record uh, screen for, for users using Traverse. So I've got my general header information at the top. What was the account? Where are they located? How much is left on the order? When was it ordered? When was something back ordered? What's the ship date? And then a little bit of commission information. Um, 
At the bottom of the page, you'll see a couple of other related lists. Uh, the actual transaction history, amounts history table, so I can see what all's happened, um, as well as the user-defined track no work history table. And I can keep drilling down and digging into these records. Uh, you'll see in this case I've just got everything on screen here um, for the individual sales order detail line. Um, but I can lay out these three the same way, hide the data I don't want to see. And again, that's using entirely standard Salesforce tools. Uh, everything always links back up to the uh, sales order, to the account, so that I can move whichever way I to to investigate something. Um, we've designed the system to be easily navigable as possible, so you may go into an account know exactly what you're looking for, go straight to that record, or you may need to look something up. You're a salesperson in the field going to go visit a customer. You want to see what their recent purchases are. Do they have any major outstanding invoices? Uh, are they ordering samples, maybe, that they're just not buying off of? Are you giving them free goods that aren't turning into orders? All of that kind of information uh, becomes immediately available we are fully compatible with the Salesforce One mobile app. So whether a user is on a desktop computer, on an iPhone, Android, Windows 8 device, anything like that, they can get in, see that information. Um, once you configure, uh, once you configure the tool on the desktop platform, the mobile layouts are actually automatically taken care of. Um, so there's no extra setup for that either. Uh, all of the information that we do bring in uh, is still owned and controlled by Dynamics, but we do bring it in so that it behaves as a part of the native Salesforce database. What that means is if I want to look up a particular customer, part number, uh, invoice number, sales order number, any piece of data that's coming in, I can search on that and I'll see all the results in the system, uh, whether they are information that is native to Salesforce or information that is coming in from Dynamics. I can see the accounts, all of the sales transactions, my customer masters, everything that we've seen so far is available on this page. I can lay out these pages like the others I'm using standard tools to show a little more information on screen if I want to see that. Uh, and I can jump straight into any piece of information and get back to my account that way. Uh, in addition to being searchable, all of the data we bring in is accessible for report creation inside of Salesforce, for creating dashboards inside of Salesforce, as well as for any other third-party apps uh, that you buy through the Salesforce App Exchange. Uh, if they can make use of data that we're bringing in, such as an address for route planning, uh, then it's going to be there and available to them. Uh, and that really concludes the core functionality. There's a lot of information there. There's a lot of power there. Um, it's a very uh, quick setup, quick win, um, and it's pretty affordable. So if you're looking for a good way to get better information into your Salesforce's hands quickly, this is a great way to do it. Um, we can have you up and running with little input on your side with little effort and little disruption uh, and really get some good information in your salespeople's hands. So on that note, if you have any questions, uh, I'll take them now uh, and I'm happy to hang on a few minutes if, if uh, anyone's typing one right now or thinks of anything in the next couple of moments, I'll hang out here. Otherwise, thank you. Um, I appreciate your time and I hope that you've liked what you've seen, uh, that it was helpful to you. Like I said, we'll be following up with each of you one-on-one -on -one to uh, see if you think of any questions later or to see if you're interested in maybe moving forward or learning more about the software. All right, thanks, and I hope you have a good day. Right. Uh, I have a question here. Can you create the invoice in Salesforce and migrate to AX? Um, and a question about bidirectionality. So we do have some bidirectional functions in our tools. Uh, what we're looking at today is just the core sync, which is one way, but there are a number of add-ons 
that let you write back to Dynamics. Um, some examples of those include customer creation based on an account in Salesforce. So you've created an account for an opportunity, uh, but that customer, that account is not a customer in Dynamics. You can push that account record down, let accounting finish filling out information about them, and then place that order to them and have them synced up that way. You can create sales orders or turn Salesforce quotes into sales orders. Uh, the exact, the, the, the specific example of creating the invoice in Salesforce uh, is not something that I've seen users do. Um, reason being typically there would be a sales order raised first. So we can raise that sales order from Salesforce uh, and when it ships, when the items on it ship, Dynamics would uh, uh, handle the invoicing side and that invoice would be updated to Salesforce. But because Salesforce at the end of the day is a CRM system, we're not pulling in a lot of the distribution or manufacturing functions. Uh, if that is something that specifically you needed, we actually do take on custom projects as well uh, and could create some tools to help you do that. But that would be sort of a special project uh, and something we'd need to talk about at length one on one. Thank you. Right. It looks like that's about it for the questions. Um, so again, thank you for your time, those of you who've stuck around to hear questions, um, and we'll be following up with you. So if you do think of more, you'll have a chance to ask them.